Hi, my name's Leo and I'm a boat builder and a sailor. A few years ago I bought a very old and quite famous wooden sailing boat for the price of one dollar and since then I've been rebuilding that boat from the keel up with the help of a lot of amazing people. Now in this video we've got some pretty interesting and complex woodworking coming up but first of all I've got some really sad news to share. So most of you will remember Raoul and Darlene who so openly welcomed me into their home and so generously hosted me and Tally Ho uh, on their property um, before the boat was moved here to Port Townsend and they were really instrumental in making this project possible in the first place. Now Raoul and Darlene have both been struggling with some really serious health issues uh, for a few years. Uh, Darlene has been battling cancer and a few days ago she uh, peacefully passed away at home uh, with her family around her. Now a couple of weeks before that right after she uh, decided to stop medication she asked me to uh, record a message of thanks um, to this community because as some of you may know they were really struggling uh, with some uh, major medical bills and to try and help I put together a fundraiser and this community came together in an amazing and very powerful incredible way and we raised over a hundred thousand dollars in just a few days which makes a huge difference to that family. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone in this community for coming together and showing the love and support to these people who are uh, so important to me. And uh, here's Darlene with a few words of her own, uh, which were filmed a couple of weeks ago in their house surrounded by their animals before she passed away. I have now gone out on disability. Um, I found that I could no longer do my job and uh, I am in hospice and, um, and it is um, a place where I am developing um, my own sense of peace and healing and the contributions that everybody made made it easier for me to know that Raul will be okay and yeah, he won't have to worry about making sure that he gets the medical help that he needs. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all for being part of our community. Um, yeah, it's amazing what a boat can do. Um, a tally <laughs> home brought us together, and thank you so much. Well, I'd just like to say thanks again to this amazing community for showing so much love and support for the people that are close to me and that helped this project begin. And the last thing I'll say is that in the time I spent with Darlene shortly before she passed, she just had such an amazing and inspirational attitude. Um, she was very philosophical about it and she said she was ready and uh, excited for the adventure. So 
fair winds and following seas to Darlene and thank you all for being here and being part of it. Now it's time for us to get stuck into some woodwork and I'll explain more later about what's going on but we're going to start off with some footage from a while ago uh, when I was uh, resawing and laminating some teak uh, to turn into Tally Ho's taffrail. Now the piece that we just laminated is for the taffrail, uh, which is kind of like the cap rail on the sides of the boat. Uh, the taffrail goes over the top of the transom at the stern of the boat, and the top of the transom has a lot of shape to it, and that's why we laminated that piece uh, with that curve in it. Now because the transom and the stern of the boat is raked, which means it's at an angle like this when you're looking from the side of the boat, although that top piece is curved like this, it's also got to be curved like this. Now if I'd had a bigger piece of teak, I would have been able to cut that curve into it, uh, but the only piece I had was uh, just wide enough to actually make the taffrail um, in its finished dimension. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna lay the laminated piece on the top of the transom, I'm gonna mark the curve uh, on the underside, and then we're gonna cut that piece along its length with the curve of the transom, and then we're gonna take the two pieces, switch them over, glue them back together, uh, on the straight edges and then the curved edges will be on the outside and so hopefully the piece will end up matching the complex curve of the transom. Look at that, the dominoes match up with the little lines. Oh my god. It's like a brain. Come on. Yeah, baby! I wish we had something to do with this. <laughs> Need it. Yeah. What's up, dude? Soul boards. Woo! Oh. That's a funky one. Yeah. So what's that little hole that you just cut out? So 
these slanted parts here go up against frames, yeah. and on the uh, inboard face of the frames they have rivets, uh, the rivet heads, so we have to relieve a little bit so that it'll be flush against the frame. And it's just the funnest part of our job, isn't it, here oh God, at Samson Boko? I live for it. <laughs> is when you is when you cut out this freaking crazy uh, jigsaw fractal piece. sculpture of a wood piece, and then then you only have to like take it down into the boat twenty or thirty times yeah. as you fit it. It's the best. <laughs> Now the taffrail is laminated and roughly the right shape to fit on top of the transom, I'm going to start making the corner pieces. Now the taff... Now the taffrail... Now the taffrail is all laminated and roughly the right shape. I'm going to start making the corner pieces which join the cat rail on the sides of the boat to the taffrail at the stern of the boat. These corner pieces are going to be joined with a scarf joint. So first of all, I'm going to cut the scarfs into either end of the taffrail, then I'll put it in place, and then I'll make a pattern for each corner piece out of door skin plywood, and then I can start actually cutting out the shape of that piece. Now those corner pieces are going to be a really weird shape, uh, so I've had to laminate a couple of pieces of teeth together to get a block that's going to be big enough. So, uh, did you put some more wood on the boat lately? <laughs> more wood on the boat, yeah. So, what I did recently was to install some fairing blocks on the trailing edge of the stern post and the keel timber. These blocks, you can see this paint line here. That's where, where the stern post is. So, I installed this block so that there's only about three-eighths of distance between the forward face of the rudder and the aft face of this block wow. so that there will be enough to be able to get paint in there with the paintbrush just enough but not so much that it will cause undue turbulence with the water moving past the, the keel onto the rudder. last night I had a I had a dream that Leo and I were committing some heinous crime just in general or I can't remember the crime but then a few nights ago I had a dream that I was in high school with zeal oh, yeah. and he and I were just cruising the the halls uh -huh. of his high school the old stop was, was yeah. Nick the gym teacher <laughs> Nick was janitor. Yeah, <laughs> Nick was the janitor. Lunch lady. Yeah. <laughs> Terrifying. Nick was the lunch lady. Yeah. Well, cool. Should we yeah. paint some? Let's do it. You want starboard or port? Uh, I'll say port. Cool. Well, Nick, are you are you doing anything interesting? No. Really? Honestly, no. Not at all. No. Not even a little bit? Nope. You're not even pretending? Uh, nope. Nobody cares about this. I don't care about this. The person that asked me to do it doesn't care about this. It's not interesting. So I've been spending a bit of time cutting and fitting the corner pieces, and I just have to do a little more fine adjustment to the scarf joints, and then I'll be ready to drill for the fastenings, uh, and then take them out and start carving the final shape into them.
All right, well, as you can probably see, it's got a lot colder here in the last uh, couple of weeks, um, but I'm pretty much ready now to install the final piece of the cat rails, uh, and that's these corner pieces, uh, and then the taff rail, which is the piece going across the top of the transom. Uh, these have been a long time coming. I've been working on them sort of in between working on everything else whenever I just have a free moment, but these pieces, the two corner pieces, are uh, probably among the most challenging bits of a boat I've ever made just in terms of um, their shape there's sort of nothing remotely square or in plane with any other parts of it here there's a long scarf joint here at the forward end and a short scarf joint here on the back end but this scarf joint is not in plane with this scarf joint because the taffrail comes in at an angle um, and then of course uh, the taffrail scarf is sort of fastening into the end grain which isn't ideal but was the only way I could do it in this case. Uh, so rather than screw in um, or try and use sort of ridiculously long bolts, uh, I've made these toggles, which are just short pieces of bronze bar. I've drilled into them, I've threaded that hole, and so the bolts will uh, come in through this scarf and um, tighten up into the toggle. So they're sort of like nuts, uh, captured nuts basically, sort of like a piece of IKEA furniture. <laughs> So really excited to get these on and um, this cap rail will need a little bit of final fairing and a few bits of detail work but it'll be pretty much ready to tick off then uh, which will be a big relief because it's one of the last big jobs like that on deck. Well, the taff rail and the cap rail corner pieces are all finished and installed and I'm really pleased with how they came out. They were all pretty challenging pieces, uh, not least because of the limitations of uh, the teak stock that I had left um, in terms of thickness and length. Only just had enough to get all those pieces out. Um, but they were really fun to make as well and really satisfying to see the cap rail and the taff rail all complete all the way around the boat. Now I just want to say thanks again to this community for the amazing way that people showed up so incredibly generously for Raoul and Darlene. I really, really appreciate it. And Darlene, of course, is in my thoughts a lot at the moment and in many people's, I'm sure she is very, very loved. Thanks also to everyone who has supported this channel and this project in so many different ways. We really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.